it going, Bethany? Hi. Good. Good. Hey, uh, I like this question, and it's one that we get asked a lot. It came from Hervoka. In she comes up with great questions, really and we does. almost need her to send us a recording of her voice. I know, I would love so that. So that we say it right. It would be awesome. She is from British Columbia. Um, and she said, hey, I would love to know, and I know so many other people out there would love to know how many days a week I should work out based on my goals. Let's say my goal is to lose weight. It's just to tone up or just build more muscle. Mm -hmm. It's to maintain my current weight and fitness mm -hmm. level. How many days per week should I work out to make that happen? And there is no right answer to that. Yeah. Is, is, I mean, really the right answer is, well, as much as you can. And I think it depends on your body and your build too. Well, yes and no, but I mean, if my goal is to lose weight, I want to try and burn as many calories as yeah. I can and build as much yeah. muscle as I can um, without fatiguing those muscles so that you're overtraining. So that's one thing that you really have to consider. But I mean, really, the more you work out, the more you're going to lose weight if that's your goal. So there's no perfect answer. You kind of have to look at your schedule and go, well, how much can I work out? Mm -hmm. And do what you can without burning yourself out. Right? A lot of people will go in, especially, you know, New Year's and stuff like that, they'll go in, they're going to be like, oh, I'm going to work out seven days a week. Well, that's not realistic. So you want to set realistic goals. But I always do suggest that you shoot for the moon and land in the stars. I'm not saying you overshoot the moon. No. Like, don't do seven double days. Right. Like, that'd be crazy. Exactly. But you want to do as much as you can. I mean, that's yeah. the bottom line. For every, you know, minute that you work out, that's going to be about 10 calories burned on average. Right? But and we'll talk about this in just a minute, you've got to do that the right way. So let's say, and so we're gonna just go through these different goals, okay? Let's say my goal is to, to lose weight, okay? okay? How many days a week should I work out? Well, again, as many as you can, but that's not all you should be thinking about. You have to think first and foremost about, well, hand in hand, they go hand in hand. Mm -hmm. You have to think about your nutrition. You've gotta get help with your diet. And when I say diet, that's what you eat. It doesn't mean that you're on a diet necessarily. So. Um, you had some nutrition tips real quick that you wanted yeah, to get out. Yeah, no, I completely agree. I think you should try to work out between 30 and 60 minutes a day. Going back to that, I think that's a definite add-in. Um, as far as nutrition goes, um, drink a ton of, lo of water. I mean, you might feel like you're floating and having to go to the bathroom every 10, 20 minutes, but be drinking that water. It cleans out your system. Um, try to add fruits and vegetables into every single meal, and that might be tough. Like, I really try to get... It is hard. It's easier for me to do the fruit than it is the veggies, just because at breakfast, I'm like, really, a veggie? But me yeah, too. a veggie. Like, yeah. add it in every meal. For me, I personally think two servings of fruit, three servings of veggies. But that is yeah. hard because if you don't get them at breakfast, that means you've got to add those veggies in for a snack if you want to get your three servings in. Yeah. So that's on focusing on more, um, focusing more on what you eat than what you don't eat. So if, yeah. if I'm focused on getting three servings of veggies in, well, I'm going to want to have those veggies for my snack with some hummus instead of grabbing a cookie or a muffin or something white sugary. Yeah. Um, another thing when it comes to the weight loss goal. Uh, I think that it's often healthier in the beginning stages of someone who's quite a bit overweight to focus a little bit more on cardio than um, weight. weight training. Yeah, mm -hmm. I'm not saying that you shouldn't do your weight training. You absolutely should do your weight training, guys. But until you get some of that weight off, um, it's going to be more challenging for you and maybe a little harder on your body. I mean, you should definitely not be doing plyometrics or anything like mm -hmm. that. So let's say, for example, that I have five days. Let's say I shoot, I'm shooting for the moon, I'm going to say six days I'm going to work out. But let's say I really end up only doing five. I would probably make three of those days more focused on cardio workouts. You know, with Studio Sweat On Demand, that might be straight up spin, spin core, speed spin, any of those that are more cardio based. And then I would focus on strength training two of the days. So I still have my focus a little bit more on cardio um, to burn off those calories. Uh, but then I'm getting my strength training in two times a week yeah. as well. I okay. Um, well, good. We're yes, on the same page. Going back to the nutrition thing real quick. Yes. Um, one of the things that I did and still do is I've kind of stopped using my big plates mm -hmm. because you also need to watch your portions yep. when you're trying to lose weight. So yeah. go ahead and serve your meals on the smaller plates or even those bowls mm -hmm. um, instead of the large plate because then you look at it and you go, wow, there's a lot of food on my, my bowl or my smaller plate as yeah. opposed to 
I still see a lot of plate and I want to <clears throat> fill it. Yep. So watch your portions big time. Exactly. And you don't want to under eat. We all know that, right? Yep. Under eating is almost as detrimental as overeating. So yeah. because then your body feels like it's starving and it holds on to fat. Now let's say that my goal, we're going to move on to the next one, is building muscle or toning up. Well, then you want more of your focus to be on strength training. Let's say you would, you would kind of flip what I said uh, before, where you'd have more of your focus be on strength training and less on cardio. It doesn't mean you don't do cardio, though you do, because your heart is just another muscle and you want to keep that strong. Yeah. Okay, and you want to be lean. If you want to be lean, you've got to get cardio in. Now remember, when you're doing a strength training workout, you can make that cardio by just continually, continually moving mm -hmm. from one exercise to the next. More of a circuit workout. Uh, yeah. Like a quick. Exactly. And, and remember you guys, when it comes to the strength training, the thing that you really need to think about is if I completely torch my biceps one day, um, and maybe I do that every week. I might only have to do that muscle group once a week. Yeah. It all depends on how much you tear them. So let's say that I really burn up my quads um, doing strength training on Monday. And then on Tuesday, I'm doing a spin sculpt class. And wow, I can feel it in my quads again when we're on the floor and we're doing some lunges. Well, I'm going to suggest that you go lighter on that uh, specific exercise. So you're still taking the class, and that's fine, because all the rest of your muscles are fine, right? But for those muscle groups that are fatigued or sore, torn from you know the day before, you need to kind of back off of those and let, let those heal. heal. You can even do a different exercise while Brooke is doing you know lunges and your legs are just fried. Maybe you drop and do some crunches. So take control of your own workout in that way. Um, but on average, you guys are going to want to work those major muscle groups two to three times per week. Mm -hmm. Okay, so that's just for the average person. But some people do only work them once per week. Yeah. That doesn't mean you shouldn't break a sweat every day though, because if you want my opinion, that's the answer to the question is you should break a sweat every day. Absolutely. You should try to, at least, even if it's you know 20 minutes. Now, 20 minutes a day is not enough. Well, I've already talked to you guys about that, okay? You do need to get those longer workouts in, in my opinion, some days. Um, let's get to the last goal, which is maintaining your current weight and fitness level. Um, Number one thing I would say there is, well, know what that's going to take for you because that's mm -hmm. going to be different for every person. But know your um, caloric intake that keeps you steady, right? So get some help and figure out, well, what's my, what are my maintenance calories? Mm -hmm. And then if you're going to overindulge and have above and beyond that, then you know how many calories you need to burn off in your workouts. But again, I, even if I'm trying to maintain, uh, I'm going to work out a good five days a week. Yeah, me too. But not I'm still gonna food journal because I need to know. I think because I'm so much shorter than yeah. like most people. That's true. I need to know what's coming in and what's going out all the time. And if I'm gonna maintain and really honestly be happy with where I'm at, yeah, I have to have a good grip on things and know what's happening yep. in my um, in your world, in my kitchen. Yeah, <laughs> really, I get you. And um, as as far as le uh, losing gains in strength or cardio that you've made, it usually takes about two weeks before you're going to really see, like truly see mm -hmm. decreases and gains that you've made with strength or cardio. Um, but it feels like when you take one week off, it's going to feel like you've already lost some strength yeah. or some momentum that you've built up with your cardio and fitness level. So I would never go more than a week, you know, without no. working out. Never, ever. Mm -mm. Um, but like I said, realistically, it takes two weeks before you're going to lose anything. Okay. I think I've uh, hit, I think I've hit everything that I wanted to talk about. Anything else you want to add? No, I think we've kind of nailed everything. Okay, all right, you guys. I hope that helps you in understanding how much you should be working out to hit your fitness goals. Yep. And for those amazing workouts, you're going to go straight to Studio Sweat On Demand. It's raining fire.